show you guys this bus, so come and check it out. This bus is a 1978, I believe. Yeah, 1978. And this is how buses look in the beginning when we first get them. Okay, they're rusty, surface rust, some uh, bad rust. And let's open the door here, come around. And they're pretty dirty too, guys. They got a lot of dirt. This one was sitting in someone's yard for like 20 years probably. And so they get pretty dirty. So we're gonna fix it. And we're gonna fix it. So check it out. Look at the inside. Go walk over there on the inside. Like see the inside of it? Pretty dirty, got rise guys, right? And it's an automatic transmission. It has leaks in it and some water. Yeah, it has leaks in it, holes, uh, the glass is busted. The headliner's super dirty. The seats need to be reupholstered. The panels need to be redone. It's pretty busted up. Let's go check out. Probably an animal lived in it at some point. You can see the body is actually pretty straight. Not too bad. Um, although it does have some surface rust on it, but that's not a big deal. Um, surface rust we can sand and fix and take off. Um, this is kind of rough, but I think if you grind it down, it might work. If not, we can buy a new piece right here. That's not a big deal. Stuff like this is uh, looks rusty and really bad, but it's actually surface rust. So you grind that down really well to the metal and it'll come right off. Right here, we'll have to replace it with panels. But they make these lower panels because it's so common to get rust there. And let's check the back. Yeah, check the back. back. It's crazy because it doesn't even have the window. It does not have a window either, guys. It's missing a couple of windows too. So definitely a project, but that's what we do. A lot of buses, eh, maybe not a lot. 30% of them kind of look like this when we buy them. Uh, no motor in it. Transmission is automatic and it definitely needs some work. You can tell, most likely we'll rebuild it. And I found this metal and it doesn't even have an end. These uh, panels here we'll replace with uh, lower metal replacements, this whole piece. We've already ordered those, the lower areas we've ordered. And it doesn't Stuff have like an this end. is uh, surface rust. We'll grind it really good down to the metal and get it off. But if you look at the body, the body's pretty straight. And also, um, it's an original paint bus. Uh, original paint bus, which is great because you can see where the rust areas are. So that's actually a good thing for uh, someone that wants to restore one because you can actually see where the damage is. It's not covered by a coat of paint or Bondo. So less surprises with a bus like this. Although it does seem like a lot of work and it is, but it's not something that we haven't done. Super cool thing about this bus, it's an air conditioned bus chances of us getting this thing working is probably zero percent chance <laughs> because uh it's just a lot of work unless the customer wanted a bus with air conditioning i guess we could look into figuring out what it's going to need to repair it but an air conditioned bus that's also an automatic you would really be draining that that motor it'd be real hard on the motor so probably not a good idea i'm not sure why they had air conditioned buses probably because cars had air conditioning and they wanted to be a part of that crew and then later on realized that it's not a good idea to have air conditioning in a bus it just drains the battery i'm sorry not the battery it drains the motor makes it harder to perform and it doesn't have the bus logo and it doesn't have the bus logo but we'll get that it's just smoothly smooth there you can see where it was though and then the sun kind of did all the damage to the outside a lot of people would look at this bus and probably want to just buff it out and keep it patina, which would be pretty cool too. I'm up for anything really, but what I will say that this is an automatic transmission bus and um, it is available for a build at some point. It's one of the buses, it's one of the buses that's in our inventory, automatic buses. Yeah, tell the people something. It might melt. It might melt. Yeah, yep, that's true. That's true. Because metal might get metal. If you look at the lines on this bus, it's really straight. So a lot of your common rust areas and mainly surface rust, which I like because even if you look at the lower bottom area, that looks pretty clean, guys. That's pretty nice. Man, I would love for somebody that just wants to make this a patina automatic bus. That would be great. And I'd be willing to do it. I'd also be willing to paint it too. I have no problem with that. Yeah, because if you paint it, it's nicer. 
If you paint it, yeah. Well, Anderson feels like it would be nicer. I, I can also agree. I can also disagree and say that if you polished it up and had a really original looking brown and white-ish automatic 78 bus that also happens to have an air conditioning unit, I think that'd be pretty cool as well. Check it out. This bus is available for a build. We can put it together any way you like. We could have it painted or we can keep it this color here. We could even turn it into a coffee shop. Whatever you can imagine, we can build it. If you're interested, reach out, send a message or a direct message, and we can get back to you. Have a great day, guys.